We see an inevitable evolution of graphical user interfaces into new form factors with simultaneous pen and touch input. To explore the affordances of pen plus touch input on direct displays, we have implemented a prototype digital drafting table for the Microsoft Surface. We can robustly sense a custom IR pen as distinct from other multi-touch contacts. By default, the pen writes. I can write while my hand rests on the display. But touch manipulates. For example, I can zoom the page with my non-preferred hand. I can flip between pages. I can move objects around. Or I can quickly grab a post-it, but still write on it at a moment's notice. This has a surprising obviousness to it, but don't miss how pen and touch complement one another. There is a tremendous fluidity with which I can interleave annotation and other secondary tasks. The mode switch is in my hand. Let's take a closer look at how I created that post-it by dragging my finger across the bezel menu. The novice way of working is that I can slide it out and tap a post-it, then I drag it into place. Once I've done this a couple times, I know how to create a post-it. Now I can just swipe across to create it and drag it into place, all in a single transaction. And when I'm not using the bezel menu, it's just barely there and doesn't interfere with my writing at all. A dual page view affords exploration of book and page centric interactions with pen and touch. For example, here I hold my page, much as I would by inserting my finger in a real notebook, to keep my place, rapidly flip back and forth between parts of a document, jot some notes, and return to my original page, all in a quick sequence of interleaved touch-pen-touch -touch interactions. I can pinch across the pages for semantic zooming to my desk view. Here I have an extended workspace that affords a spatial holding pattern for my current work. I can leave notes for myself, switch between documents and other notebooks, go back to full page view, and so on. Even split the screen views by doing a half pinch. Next, we explored how the expanded input vocabulary afforded by the combination of pen and touch can give new tools. I can copy a photo by holding it and peel off a copy using the pen, just like pulling Silly Putty off of the Sunday comics. I can tap select a number of photos and staple them together by holding one and tapping on it with the pen. That photo becomes the representative one for the entire stack. I can turn my pen into an X-Acto knife by holding a photo and crossing it with the pen. Both the cut and the surround fall onto the work surface, just like they would when cutting real paper. Or if I cross a photo using my other finger instead of the pen, I can tear it in two. If I hold the photo in place with my thumb and forefinger, I can use it as a straight edge. Many of our techniques can be composed. For example, I can exacto cut a photo along a straight edge. I select the photo I want to cut, I hold my straight edge over it, and then I draw along the straight edge across the selected photo. This composition of techniques is possible because tapping provides a way to define a collective scope of more than one object, and because holding phrases together multiple pen and touch inputs into a single chunk that the system can interpret as a unitary command. We have also experimented with using touch as a handle for in-place commands. If I tap the display, it produces a finger shadow. If I ignore the finger shadow, it disappears in a couple of seconds. I can pull on the dot to expand an accordion menu with additional commands. Here, it is natural to use my finger to smear colors on the display. Gradually, I rub all the ink off my finger. I can hold my current pen stroke with my finger to transition to digital tape drawing. This allows me to fluidly intermingle freehand sketching, straight lines, and smooth curves, without ever moving my hands away from the locus of interaction. Finally, I can use a photo as a brush effect for the pen. Let's pick a semi-transparent highlighter, as that's a good way to demo this. I hold a photo and brush on the page with the pen. While I continue to hold the source photo, each successive stroke is interpreted as a common set that together map onto the same photo. This simple technique can produce some fun and unique effects. We have seen how pen plus touch input on a direct display affords a design space where the pen writes, touch manipulates, and the combination of pen and touch gives new tools. A number of simple pen or touch actions such as holding, tapping, dragging, and crossing can be composed in a phrase structure 
delineated by the muscular tension of holding an object or state that affords a very rich design space of interactions. All this can be done without using a button on the pen or without any permanently visible UI that detracts from the user's focus on the workspace.